In this video, I'm gonna show you how to save money by setting your printer drivers so they print in black and white instead of color when you hit quick print. Basically, the problem you run into is that when you install a new printer driver, the manufacturer has it set to default to auto color. And that all sounds great. It's gonna automatically print in color if there's any color on the page. But nine times out of 10, when you're printing a web page or something like that, you really don't need color and you're paying for the expensive supplies. When you bring up a program and you're gonna print something and you go into your printers and you go to print, if you just click OK, or in something like Word where it's just got a quick print icon where you hit quick print and it just prints the page, it's going to use the default setting for the printer. Now, if you go into properties here, you can change and say, well, I want to print black and white, say OK. When I click print, then it's going to go ahead and print black and white. But then if you want to go and print again, it's still going to default to color every time. So what you need to do to prevent this is make the changes in the default settings for the printer. And to do that, you go into your printing preferences under settings, devices, printers and scanners, and then manage the printer that you want to change. You can go into that printer's printing preferences, and you can see here that it defaults to color. Now, if I change that to black and white and click OK, then when I go into a program and go to print, it's going to print using that as the default. For instance, if I go into Microsoft Word and go to do a test print, if I click the quick print, it's going to print now in black and white. And you can see that right here. By changing that in the OS, you don't have to do it every time. So there you have it. Change your printer driver settings so that they don't automatically print in color every time. It's going to save you time and money if you want to make any other changes such as turning off automatic duplexing or changing what paper tray you're using. You can make those changes just as easily. If you have any questions, please post them below and have a good day. Thank you.